Okay, uh, auction design is a very important question. Uh, the question is, uh, well, there are a bunch of different auction uh, mechanisms or auction rules. Which one should we use? Or what is the optimal, uh, most profitable, whatever your objective function is, uh, but what is the optimal auction mechanisms and or can we design better auctions? Well, so this is a very uh, 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 well-studied subject and uh, we have some answers. Uh, obviously, the answers depend on the objective. Do you want to maximize your revenue or efficiency or do you have any other objective? Well, usually the revenue is the ultimate purpose, is like a revenue maximizing uh, uh, auctions. Uh, as you know from the revenue coolness theorem, uh, independent private value auctions and the risk neutral bidders make no difference because all auctions that we talked about are uh, revenue equivalent. Um, and there's also a bunch of other design challenges. For example, correlated values and risk aversion is some of them. Collusion is sometimes bidders actually collude. Uh, entry deterrence, you know, some auction formats uh, do not really incentivize bidders to enter and reserve price. So these are some of the challenges. In terms of correlated value, so my value is could be correlated to your value. So once I receive a signal, it doesn't have to be independent as in the common value auctions. So in the correlated value case, ascending bid auctions uh, per, may perform better. In the case of risk averse bidders, the second price auction uh, makes no difference. All right, uh, whether the bidders are risk neutral or risk averse, uh, the equilibrium strategies will be the same. However, the first price auction bidding strategies will be different and risk averse bidders uh, higher, uh, have, have uh, higher bids. Uh, in terms of collusion, sealed bid auctions like first price, second price, they actually perform better. And the entry did, in terms of entry deterrence, again, sealed bid auctions perform better to promote entry. Um, sometimes hybrid formats like the Anglo-Dutch auction can actually perform better. Uh, Anglo-Dutch auction is a hybrid version. How so? Uh, it actually works as an ascending bid auction until two bidders remain. Uh, once the only two bidders remain, well then these two bidders actually uh, sort of uh, uh, compete with each other uh, in the first price auction, the sealed price uh, uh, first price auction. So um, again, uh, auction design or finding optimal auction is, is a, still a, a very hot topic um, and it, there's, there's a huge uh, literature about it. So this is just a very brief summary of that literature.